going on, guys? Um, I have something here for my Galaxy Note 4. This is a generic wide angle macro slash fisheye lens kit. I got this off Amazon for about six dollars. Okay, so I'm not expecting much, but it is a three in one kit. Um, you know, it was Amazon Prime ship, so pretty cheap, but there's nothing particular yet for the Galaxy Note 4 and really they're all basically the same the ones that are made for the actual phone usually have a, a housing a, a case and then the actual lens will screw to the back of it right where the uh, the lens is on the phone so and one thing that I'm actually worried about not so much the quality of the build but a lot of times these magnetic attachable lenses they have really thick magnets and I'm using the wide angle lens I have no real use for the macro or the fisheye I just think they're kinda gimmicky although these lens kits are usually pretty popular for those two reasons however my YouTube channel because I do a lot of recording in my car I want it to be able to get a wider field of view even though the Galaxy Note 4 already has a very wide field of view I want it to increase that even further so it comes with some basic instructions now I've read on Amazon. What's really funny is that uh, the grammar mistakes that are here, <laughs> yeah, they're pretty hilarious. Um, in addition, <clears throat> a lot of people complain that they only come with two lenses. They look at the box, they look at the description, oh, it's a three-in-one lens kit. You know, there's the wide angle, the macro, and then there's the uh, fisheye. Well, what's going on? I only have two lenses here. Well, uh, I got ripped off. I'm going to return this. The the wide angle lens is actually two in one. This lens down here, I'll show you. This lens right here, this smaller lens, is actually the wide angle slash macro lens. What you do is you unscrew it like this. Okay, now you have three lenses, <laughs> and it's pretty funny to watch the comments. I only got two lenses. I got ripped off. This seller, nobody really reads instructions. They just assume, looking at the box, that they got gypped. So essentially, this is the wide-angle portion, and it requires the macro portion to actually work. Now, I'm not using macro, as I said. I'm just going to be using the wide-angle, so I'll go ahead and screw this on. So now, here I have my wide-angle lens, okay? And again, these are pretty generic, you know. I'm not expecting too much. Here's the fisheye. I'm not expecting too much out of these. Now, what's funny, what's cool, I should say first, is it does come with these caps, okay? Now, they also come with these ridiculous keychain type wristband type magnet things, okay? I do not trust these to be able to put on a keychain or my wrist or whatever. Yes, they're pretty strong as far as, you know, they'll they'll grab it. They'll hold it. But if you can imagine having this on your wrist or your keychain or somewhere else, yeah, it's going to come off. I'm sorry to say, but it's going to. I'm definitely not going to be using those. But what I will show you is how I'm going to attach this. Now it comes with different rings, okay? And you've got your uh, like your iPhone type ring. It's got the cutout for the flash because the flash is so close to the lens. And there's different rings here. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of spares as well. You've got different sizes. Basically, this is the back of the Galaxy Note 4, okay? So I'm going to find the ring that's going to fit this inner uh, portion here the best so I'm gonna need something actually smaller so let's try this one nope okay so this one here looks to be about the right size right here this is probably gonna be the one now if you can't tell you see this ring is actually moving around that's because of the actual optics inside the optically stabilized um, mechanism that's on the inside okay so that's why that's moving around these are really simple um, you get a little sticky back right here that uh, you just peel off
Okay, now once the ring, once the back has been peeled off, what you do is you set it on there the best that you possibly can. Try to center it as best as possible. Okay, so you can see how I've got the ring on there now. It's not moving around at all. It looks pretty stable. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to test to make sure the optical image stabilization still works on this because I don't want it to be interfering with it. Okay, so unfortunately I have determined that the magnet is in fact interfering with the uh, the optical image stabilization. It is affecting the focus. It is not focusing. These rings here are actually non-magnetic. The magnet portion is actually on the inside where the actual lens is. This portion right here, in fact I'm going to go ahead and take this off right here. So the rings themselves are not in any way magnetic. This portion right here is magnetic. So I probably won't be able to see this, but Okay, so I've got I've got the camera on right here now, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bring the lens to the actual camera, okay? Now everything's fine up until you get to a certain point and you can see here that it's actually having trouble focusing. Now if I move the lens left or right, you see that? You see how the image stabilization is actually being affected? It's actually causing it to shift around and it's unable to actually focus and it gets worse as you increase the range of the object that's in front of you that you actually want to record so unfortunately unfortunately magnetic style um, lenses will not work on the Galaxy Note 4 or I assume any optical image stabilization lenses okay so if you were thinking about getting a wide angle lens for your smartphone that has OIS you want to keep that in mind so what I basically have to do is I have to wait for a lens kit that's not magnetic that will actually attach without the use of magnets it's a little disappointing but at the same time, it's kind of expected. Um, I wondered if the OIS was going to be affected, and my initial belief was that these actual rings here were the magnetic portion, but this is actually the magnetic portion. So I could, in fact, pull this magnet off here and physically attach this lens to the actual foam, but that's not something that I'm really interested in doing. So it's unfortunate. So. This is a fair warning for anybody who wants to use these lens kits with your OIS camera. They will not work because they do interfere with OIS. So just keep that in mind, alright? If you have any questions, let me know.